Do we do, folks? Part of me says we should only do this for one episode. Just because, you know, consistency. Besides, haven't you done like a Barb episode before? Or something? Yeah. Dad's doing another you know, miscellaneous run. Woo. You want to know something weird? Huh? And I want to mark this as spam, but like. What do you need? Someone gave me an- someone emailed me, like, trying to get me to, like, talk about a microphone they wanted to offer me or something. Oh. It was some kind of talent company. I'm like, the fuck you say? Yeah. I'm not gonna put them on blast or anything. But they sent me an email and then said, allow me to invite you to our website. Here's their socials and their website. Your videos are amazing and we love them so much lately. We've been hoping to invite you to join this project. We will provide a professional grade microphone without additional costs factored in. And in return, we would be pleased if you use this to record no less than five minutes of something interesting. We found your email address as we delved into your social channels, and if I click this link, it sends me to my YouTube channel where mm. people are listening to this. Okay. And he sent me a picture of this microphone. Oh, nice. To confirm the legitimacy, please contact this email. And I'm just like, no. His email's at dot net. Mm. Yeah, no. Why does that sound really old? It sounds like spam. <laughs> like, it just felt like a spam email, you know? I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not giving you the time of day. Not today, Satan. <laughs> like, thank you for watching my videos. Now also, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not selling myself to an MCM that's going to milk me. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't like being milked. <laughs> See ya, Dad. How's your day been? I know it's been very short. So far, yep. Because you got up not that long ago. Yep. That's what happens. Yeah. Now I'll do that between episodes. Okay. Tina, talk about the rogue. Because you were trying to talk to me about it. Yeah. It seems to have a lot more upgrades than the uh, uh, wizard. The wizard only seems to have one. Rogue mm -hmm. has like four. What do you mean? Because I, I, I genuinely don't know what you mean. I 
to life when I hit that. We love that. It's always a plus. Always a plus. <laughs> oh, hey, look, we're on our way to Vinod again. More strangers in the catch. Vigo! He's back! <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Are you Vigo? Because we've seen this so many fucking times. Mm -hmm. Hey! Yeah, we have the pizza thing. We have pizza. I know what I saw. Um. She had horns like a beast. Strode right past where you stand. I don't need to play. Watch all those cutscenes because, well. Skippy doesn't like to watch cutscenes. She did. <laughs> The horned woman is the demon. Yeah. Mille. So. Secondly, you guys have seen it like three times now. So many times. So there's no reason to have you watch it again. <sighs> that damn hoist is stuck. We've got to go on foot. Okay. So go Look on out. foot. Unless you can go on ham. No, I can go ham. Yeah, you really are. Jesus Christ. Hey, that's my mother's charm on your wrist. Hmm. It's mine now, girl. She gave it to me when I let her and her friend pass through. Anyway. Like I said, the rub kills a bit quicker than most. Which I definitely like. Okay. <clears throat> Keep close. Now, unlike the other one, I am not level twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go back. Round up the knights. And leave my mother in Lilith's care for as long as that will take? No. I'm going on. You shouldn't so what, take what else long. is what else is, you know? Different? Yeah. Well, technically I can swap her out for long range. Right now, I like her on short range. Kind of built her skills so that that's a big deal. She also tends to get health back when she attacks things. Which I definitely find a plus. The mage has nothing like that. What do you mean the mage has nothing like that? The mage is almost a pure damage dealer. It doesn't really get health back because it killed something. Okay. This one, on the other hand, does. Because of some of the perks it gets. Let me now show you this one. Okay. I think right now I'm at 4% for every attack she makes, she gets that health back. Okay. I don't know, which way do you go? This way! We go over here to beat up the sky. As you can tell, I get some AoE attacks too. Yeah, which is weird because you have two little knives. I have a sword and a knife. I got a knife! And it does 14 feet worth of uh, damage. I'll show you why here. 
Okay. Um, so some skills I chose. She is a dual building fool. Which is me. That's just me. Yeah, that's your that's your entire playstyle. Gotta have the dual wheel. Always. If you didn't, who's playing? You! Who are you? <laughs> Which is kinda of way that the mage isn't really my playstyle as much. But it is because it deals nice damage too. Okay. okay. Now, You're being attacked. Yeah, that's fine. It's not really hurting that much. Funny enough, it really wasn't doing that much damage to me. I do like the little, little skeletons and things like that don't really do a whole lot. One, because they have to get in close, mm -hmm. and with the skills I have, that doesn't work out well for them. Okay. Um, so, basic skills generate combat points, which does additional effects for things. Also, I get. Mark enemies to fill up your inner sight gauge. Attacking non marked enemies to fill up at 5%. Uh, gain unlimited energy and 25 crit strike. In 4 seconds. <laughs> Yours is more linear than the ones that are for everybody else. Um, so here's the skills that I actually have. Like, this is one that I use the majority of the time. Okay. Okay. Uh, gains 20% movement speed. Uh, next place shift and daze enemies for two seconds. Now, the other one that I have that's on basic is invigorating spike strike. Regenerate by 20% energy. Deal 114 damage for three seconds. Okay. It's not full yet. Okay. Twisting blades means that they basically shoot out from me when I bother to use it. Okay. Making them 8% increased damage. Uh, blades seem to return to you, piercing at least for 308 damage. Uh, if I have one combo point, it does 250 damage and 20% movement. Two points, 308. 3 points, 366, and 60% movement. Oh, okay. And that's only at rank 2. 8% uh, close damage reduction, and my health. Of course. Close enemies have up to 85% chance to heal you for 3% of your maximum life. Uh, my flurry. I will use some. Rugged, 9% damage reduction, against damage over time effects. We will eventually get this. Shadow step, we not worry about. Weapon mastery, daggers 10% increased damage. Uh, sword 6%, bows 8%. Crossbows 10. That's a level. Uh, Dark Shroud. Turn yourself, put up the five protective shadows. You have so many shadows. You get pets. No, basically they just swirl around me. Yeah, it's one of me. Little pieces. Yeah. Yeah, like a pet situation. Sort of. Or I can do this. I'm a shadowy, stealthy person. Disappear. <laughs> I'm an assassin. <laughs> so, that sounds like you. That, that really does. 
And I can make it heal for 4% if I bother to get this soon. Oh, I forgot I have poison trap. Uh, 6% increased damage. Malice, 3% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. And what do I have over here? Shadow Imbuement. Yep, that's the one that I keep using all the time. It's only level 1. But I keep using it all the time. <laughs> because it imbues them with... You will continue to hit things! Harder. And they explode on death. That's what that AoE effect is. I haven't bothered to get down here yet. Because I want my Shadow Clone eventually. It's the Shadow Clone Jutsu. <laughs> yeah, I really like the rogue. I really, really like the <laughs> Dad's enjoying himself. Yep. Okay. Getting closer for not. <laughs> like they're not even hitting me at this point. It's kind of sad. You can't hit me. What's special about this place anyway? What would draw Lilith here? I don't know. What would? Are you almost orphan? Is that a spoiler at this point? I mean. Pretty much. We know it is. But she doesn't. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> oh, I got a new sword. Okay. I can do that. Lift. The jam must be deeper down. You mean the whispering chests? I can squeeze through to the other side. Wait, hold on. And there she goes. <laughs> Pizza is very important. But also living through this would be very important as well. That's not even difficult at this point. She seems to have less trouble at levels. I mean, that sounds about right. That, that should be correct, you know? The mage seems to be better at lower levels. It might just be me. But that seems to be the case. That was... Quick mm. thinking. Yeah, that ran really quick. Nice. Why would your mother leave you like that? She wouldn't. Or she shouldn't have. I'm sure she had good reason. Yeah, she was following a demon bitch. Yeah. Yeah.
She had better things to do than care about you for five minutes. And then decided to give her life for it. Like, you see how these guys are hurting me some? Yeah. And then my health automatically just starts going back up again. <laughs> You've gained Kirito the power. <laughs> no, I'm not that strong yet. It's not an RPG and I'm not over leveled by like 50 levels. Oh, why not? Because it's dynamic leveling. Damn. You got me there. <laughs> Curse that the game won't let you break it. <laughs> no, it will. It's just... You have to find another way. <laughs> you, having, you having fun breaking the game over there? I'm not really breaking the game, so I'm using the game. It's technically it's doing all the breaking of its own. <laughs> I just did a lot of side questing before coming in here. So that is one thing you can do if you really want to try to uh, help your character some. Instead of what we do some of the time, which is just basically head for the main quest. <laughs> this one I kind of leveled the shit out of to begin with. Okay. Which is definitely more of a me thing than you. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I don't level the, the shit out of my stuff so well. I'm like, do we need to keep this entertaining? Side questing is not entertaining! Well, there's 26. Yeah, holy shit. All I had to do is walk through a door. <laughs> <laughs> you walk through a door and you gain the level. That sounds about right. Yeah, especially for me. Dad sneezes and he gains a level. Next up. This is this is just getting mean. <laughs> but you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, do you? No. What's mean? Um, so there was another skill that I just picked up that uh, reduces the image incoming from anything that damages you. Okay. <laughs> That's you. It's her. Here we go. I saw her. Queen Demon Bitch. We need to find my mother. <laughs> Yay! Seeing the same things over and over again. Come <laughs> on. Over here. Wee! I like that animation. That was kind of neat. <laughs> Did you see it? No. We'll have to do it again. Here we go. Going to down. And slide down. <laughs> it's, 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 it's... The one-handed foot grab. No, there's a game that I've seen with this. It's like women, women in gaming do that. Men in gaming wear pointy hats and slide down the ladders like it's fucking uh, Dark Souls. Women. Beating their head against it. The women are super stealthy and silent. Meanwhile, we've got the pointy hat to please stop. 
The tip of the hat is hitting every bar on the ladder on the way down, and you're just like, this guy has a concussion. He's like, nope, I'm fine. Well, now we can uh, exit if we want. Go. You think you're going to make it to Vinod in the next five minutes? We're going to try. Because otherwise... A woman. Yeah. Sorry, Skippy going to skip. Skippy always skips. That's why he's called Skippy. Yes, Skippy. It doesn't move! Hmm. Yeah, this sounds about right. I feel like this is you in every game that I've ever known you in. Just, nope. I'm not dying! <laughs> Never! <laughs> Death? What is that? How does one do that? I don't like to die while I play. Clearly! I don't think anyone likes the game over screen, you know? It's just not a fun place to be. Does that come along with, uh... purple glowing blades and stuff? I guess. It's fashionable. Especially since they explode on each time that uh, one of them dies. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't need all the health potions that are laying around these days. You might. Who knows? How's that going for you? I don't know. You're definitely not dying like they should. Do you need Do you need more health potions? You want to go this way? Uh. Or is that a wrong way? Uh, I, I don't remember either. Yeah, we're gonna try this one. So, you know, it's. it's... Can you get a map of the map? Um. I'm joking. I'm gonna say, in theory, in theory, we could. In, in theory, there's a, a map of the map. The map. Oh, I can go that way. Of a map. I have to go this way. <laughs> Is that a whispering box? I don't think so, because they don't really exist in these rooms. I love that she's not here. You know? Like, in theory, she should be down there mumbling to herself, and we can see her. There, yeah. As far as I know, she's supposed to be up there. You know, just being kind of crazy. Do I have to go all the way back to the beginning? I should. Well, you know what? We're gonna have to begin soon. A new yeah, episode. Eventually, I'm gonna have to find out which direction I'm actually supposed to be going. Yeah, that's true. Because again, I'm lost. Um. Well, you're supposed to be here. Oh, right. You're supposed to go down to get to. You're basically just looking for the next point. Ah, there. Oh, there we go. For a second, I thought she was about to say, Wow, isn't this grand? I'm like, wrong game! Uh-huh! <laughs> wrong game! Not this one. It's the cradle! Don't you like cradles? And it's finally telling me how to do my skills. Don't forget to level up, you dunce. I really like that they're trying to hit me. We're not really that curious, though. We're just trying to move forward, you know? I 
I figure we just keep going until we uh, kill Bernard and then we'll switch. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'll probably cut this out anyway. Because it's not really that exciting. And they've seen it a half dozen times already. Yeah. Explodey people! They're very explosive. They are. <coughs> because they explode. They do very good at this exploding thing. How about this, actually? Mm. For any time that we're too damn quiet, mm. I will let you just pick apart the episode and you can cut out the not interesting bits. Okay. And then we can keep it as the highlight reel. And, yeah. I can't even keep my health down long enough to start to kill me at this point. That's getting funnier. Did you notice that? No. Wow, they pushed my health down once. Oh no! I got a potion! Yeah, I already had one. Oh I look, I, five. I, I ate one potion. And I gained a potion. Did I really lose anything? Nope. No. Yeah, that poison trick, it kind of works a little bit. Maybe just a little. And then I do things like this. A kick and punch, and kick and punch, and kick and punch, and kick and punch. I got a title. Woo! If they actually did something, we'd care. They might. We just don't know what they do. They give you a fancy thing over your head that people look at. If there's another player actually going in. Yeah. It's not like some other games where, you know, you get... Uh, Actual boss runs and stuff with other players. Uh, this one's all solo. Oh god, my brain just had a question. Because oh. every game becomes obsolete eventually, and then they shut the servers down for it, and they stop running it. In a lot of ways. It's yeah. more of a money sink than a reward, right? Mm -hmm. So, what do you think's going to happen to this game? Well, since people actually bought the game... And technically, Skyrim should have been one of those a long time ago. Yeah, but the difference is Skyrim is not... It's not, um... I'm not looking for obsolete. It's not online at all. Uh, so there's no, there's no servers really to keep running. It's just a game on your console. Except for the modding, yeah. Yeah, but like... That's the only thing they have to worry about. With this, there's, like, servers. There is, but it also depends on how you want to look at it. Because technically you don't have to stop this. You've mastered your fear. But I still... Also, you're not playing on the mods. You're playing the mods. Like, you download them and then they're there. Mm-hmm. This, it's not like you're hopping on a server to get a mod. You are. Well, in terms of this, like, they... they... This is actually server. Based. Yeah, so what happens when this game becomes obsolete and, like, people just... I guess they can keep the servers running. Because this, uh, this game even is worth the however much you pay for it. Yeah, I mean, then again, they shut down the 360 servers for... Xbox Live and shit. And I know that's because, like, nobody's on it, but you know what I mean. No, it's because everybody pretty much upgraded to the one at least. Yeah. I mean, granted, something I heard about Nintendo 3DS is that not only did they shut down, like, the, sh the spot pass, so, like, all the online stuff, but, like, someone, some people have decided to keep it up and running by, by, um, I mean, you can getting the servers. The servers. Well, no, they, they, they've made servers for it instead of, like, just getting rid of the function. Well, that also means that Terms of Service doesn't 
doesn't happen as much. Because that means that somebody is physically owning it. But you know what I mean, so like, do you think that this game is popular enough that people would have like an uprise? Maybe. I don't think so. Because a lot of people said that last year it underperformed. Most people didn't seem to like this. No. It did not meet expectations at all. Mm -hmm. Especially not once Baldur's Gate 3 came out. Uh, well, pfft. Nothing really compares to that one. Uh, I will go with my 15 year old game. <laughs> it's almost 16. Which one's that? Skyrim? W. Oh, yeah. And it's still going strong somehow. Yeah. But it's just not the same, you know? It's also got continual updates, it's got continual reworks. Yeah, God. I know I keep jazzing that one up. I can't help it. It's been around this long. It's almost a staple game at this point. Mm. It's outlived a lot of its same time uh, competitors. Yeah. I mean, I know League is still up and running, obviously, and it's relatively popular, but it doesn't help that it also has, like, a series that helps they keep have, it going they strong. Have to, they have to do a, a, a episode thing with it to make it stay alive. I mean, I won't say that we were basically, it was on life support, but, like, a lot of those games were. WoW became officially forcibly pay-to-play. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do literally anything? Pay to keep your character up. Pay to get your character past level 20. At one point, it was free up to level 20. Because they wanted people to try it. We're excited. Yep. And then they took it away because they were. These people would do like I did and just make it a that doesn't freaking the one characters and just start playing it. Yeah. Because why wouldn't you? It's free that way. Yep. Get level 20? Okay, start over. Yeah. But PWI has them. PWI is still free to play. The only thing that you actually spend money for is, like, if you want to speed up your progress or you want to do fashion. And even then, you can most times still arrange for ways to get it off of another player using in-game currency. But what I guess I'm going for here is, like, this game is not like either of those, like, any of those. Yeah. It's still, it's forcibly online. But, I guess they have. that means they have servers that they have to run. So what happens when those servers have to go away because the game is done? Either somebody picks it up or dies. Or they force it to be completely offline, but then you, I feel like you lose some of the function. Slash, it'll just be weird to have an emote wheel when you don't have anyone to emote to. Well, you don't actually again, have other players to play with. But then again, the side quests force you to use the emote wheel. Some of them. Yeah. Some of them are literally just go over here and smile, or wave, or wait. Or do whatever. Whatever the, whatever the prompt is, you know? And then a box appears. Ta-da, you did it! You go fart and sit in the air. I don't care. <laughs> uh, is that one of them? That is what I know. That was just funny. I was gonna say, like, is there a fart emote? Because that would just take this game from, like, zero to one. <laughs> of of a hundred um. <laughs> No, the only one I know of that's ever had that kind of emote is um Fable. Yep. Fable has a fart emote. It not only has a fart emote, it has a freaking arm pump. <laughs> 
It has an electric guitar emote where you can just be like, Bam! Oh, I'm back to Nerbit. <laughs> In my head, I'm just, I'm back there, just like, can you beat Fable with only the stick? Sure! Hit wax. It's not the greatest whacker, but it works. Or, or, can you beat Fable without increasing any skills? Now that that's out of the way, let's begin. Just that, that whole, that whole batch. Oh, he did, he did something like, can you beat Fallout New Vegas with only the rolling pin or something like that. I'm like, or I need to watch that. Can you do, can you beat Fallout 4 with only the paddle? Oh yeah, the paddle ball. The only problem with this is that the ammo is... One place only to get it. And you have to grind the shit out of it to get it. Mm-hmm. That's great. Not to mention, you have to beat their little mini games to hit. No! <laughs> You're forced to. But so, I guess what I mean is that. <sighs> um. I mean, someone might have to try to keep these up and running, but, like, it'll just be weird to have all the online functions without any online, you know? Once this game officially has gone and run its course. Or like they shut they off... Decided to do it. Like they shut off Xbox One and Xbox Live, essentially, and start removing online features. It's like that's the benefit of having a local co-op system is that you can play with your friends no matter what. I mean, they just have to be in your house. <laughs> you can at least talk to them if you have nothing else. But if you have a completely online system that excludes other people from playing with you, then like the you, once the online's gone, you have nothing. <laughs> You're just by yourself, which forces you to upgrade to a new system just to talk to your friends. I think I can. Just- Oh uh, man, they didn't last long enough. It's just starting to get in a rhythm. Aww. Do we need a DDR dance pad for you then? <laughs> get some rhythm in here. Now, are we finally at the bridge? No. Of course not. That would be convenient. Yes, I just moved that. Don't don't mind me. Sorry, Ellen just asked me if I have a migraine still, and I'm like, no, I'm good. Oh look, hey, we're there. We get to the interesting part. Never enough blood. I hate this bitch. I will follow you to the end of sanctuary, mother. Yes, and every other boss has been so easy except for you. I don't even need it. So it says. <laughs> Until you do. It would be nice if they put the like you know how the bosses in the other game in, in Diablo 3 they had the healing well inside the damn arena? Mm-hmm. So if you needed it because you ran out of potions or you really just didn't have enough health, you'll be like, no 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 no. Well this one no, it locks it outside. Why? Why? Mother. You ready? You ready? You're just in time. Beyond this lake lies the necropolis of the firstborn. A trove of magic and not. And even better, you're gonna die! You can't hit her, you gotta hit her friends. Now her health is dependent upon them. <laughs> The most important ones are the ones that are linked to her that you need to hit. Okay. Because once it gets more complicated, it sucks. This bitch is the worst. My necros had no problem, but druid me? Uh uh-uh. uh. This is probably closer to the druid. Well, the druid was all close combat for me because of my wolf. That's the speed class for them. 
So this one is all close combat. Yeah. Because the way I built her. Yeah, the necro was just summon everything and then sit. You still can't hit her. It won't let you abuse the mother. Dad, it was Mother's Day not that long ago. Don't abuse her. Oh, speaking of, it's your bestest birthday. Mm -hmm. It's May 14th. Her kid told me today. Mm -hmm. I did mention she goes to the RV drive through enough that you see her a lot, but... Mm -hmm. Next time you see her, you should say something. I will. Send her a text. Anything. Yeah. I like texting after your mother for some reason. Send a Facebook post through mom. You know, I haven't seen any of those black shrouds moving around this area. Yeah, I know, right? It's like you didn't get hit out of bounds or something, pushed into the be the abyss that just starts eating at your soul or whatever the fuck is left of it after dealing with this bitch. I can't tell who's worse, but not or my mother. Ha 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 ha. That's so funny. Anyway. This is a little funny. Mm. I'm going to keep stabbing this hell spawn. I don't want you to die, but guess what? You're going to anyway! I'm not even stabbing you and you're dying! With knives like these, who needs enemies? Big boy is not one of them. No, it's okay. It's the floaty bastards that you want. No, I'm just killing everybody. She'll just keep bringing them back. You know that, right? That's okay. You are eating through health potions, though, so... Like that one that you just ate. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Seriously, everyone in this game is so moany. I know when we want to kill you, we say get fucked, but like, no. Not like that, please. It hurts. We're not even stabbing you. How does it hurt? Just blow up already. Nope. Okay, one down. Sorry, I'm, I'm I was rewatching SAO Bridge, and I'm just like, "Look, Mr. Kieran, tell we found it." All right, I one down. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Well, we gotta get seven more, like seven more of these suckers. Then we trade them into this gatekeeper, who lets us fight a series of bosses to get the real flower. We decided to game this way! You don't play a lot of RPGs, do you? Hey, look, it's a black shroud to eat you. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't hurt that bad. That's because you are the black shroud, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that is one of your powers, literally, you told me. Hi, how you doing? You died. It's <laughs> Someone get that bitch an inhaler! So yeah, we call this episode here then? How bad was that? By comparison to something like your mage. Actually rather easy. So yeah. I say pretty close to the same amount of uh Huh. Frustration. Huh. So yeah, subscribe if you guys want to. We don't really care if you do, but if you do, you get to see more content like this. Yeah. And uh, I'm so sorry, and don't forget to ding dong the bell, you ding dongs. Have a horribly wonderful day. I don't want to. Right, when you're done with this, we can go back out and go back to the normal shit. Mm -hmm. Pick up where we left off.